Hi guys, my name's Amanda, for those of you who don't already know. Uh, welcome to Let's Sew. Today I am coming to you from the caravan again. This video will be in um, stages, parts. Uh, I don't know how many yet, it depends how far I can get because I can't pause my... I'm doing it on the iPad. My iPad on my mobile phone because I can't actually pause those while I'm talking to you to carry on to the next part. Um, I have to stop it and restart. So it will come in a few um, parts, but hey ho, we'll get there in the end. As promised, I am going to talk you through sewing these fab trousers. Ooh, where am I? Here. So I've got everything that I need together, which I'm going to go through with you. You'll also see a few uh, techniques as well, such as um, threading when I can think of the word, the machine, etc. as I do it. Um, so, first of all, um, if you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please subscribe and help us to grow this channel. If you can hear traffic, it's because I've got the door open, because although it's quite dull, it, it, is, it is quite warm. Um, so today, also, I'm going for my hair cutting in about an hour and a half. So, when I come back, it'll be... A different length so it'll be shorter can't very exactly much shorter can it but anyhow it'll be shorter but also I'm going to then do it a different color because I don't like this blue I put it on last week and it's supposed to be ultraviolet it's more well it was nearly navy blue it's gone lighter now but no it's not my thing I don't really like the blue in it um so yes so those of you that haven't subscribed, please subscribe, tell your friends, share the video, show them the video. I'm also going to be putting our weekly chit chat, catch up, natter thing on later. Um, I still haven't decided what we can call it. Nobody's told me what they'd like it to be called. So I shall have to have a little think about that. Okay, so on with the show. First of all, anything that I'm um, telling you about in this video today is... Um, not sponsored by anyone it's all things that i've bought for me for my use from my own money so this sew magazine i do buy this regularly um i love it because it's got always got um three patterns with it um like proper paper patterns uh, there's usually two sometimes three some lucky viewers that i know that have commented before on especially on my facebook page they've actually got an extra pattern slotted in somehow they don't know where from it's not in the book it's not mentioned anywhere but they've been lucky enough to get um, an additional pattern so very good good luck and fingers crossed if you do that it, when you sew it it works out and it's absolutely fine and it's something that you weren't expecting and it was for free so more of those please so um yeah so it says on here that it's the uk's best sewing mag as well as your magazine uh, your patterns that you get in the actual when you buy this it's in a plastic bag and it's got the free patterns inside as well as that you get other patterns as well which are free now in this one uh, the trousers and the additional ones in this one are there's like um, a kimono there's a dress like a straight shift kind of a dress that a tunic -y dress there's this flared dress a bit like a um, skater dress I think they call them and then there's these 40s inspired sailor trousers. I love these and I'm going to do a few of these if they work out all right. So uh, all you need to do to do these is to download the pattern from the website, which is really easily, easy, and then print it off on your printer. You don't need anything special to do that. Just a bog standard printer, bog standard ink um, and cheap paper and just print it onto cheapo paper. And when you're ready to make the actual garment, cut your pattern out. Um, a bit, a bit of a tip is to keep the actual pattern clipped together with something like this Wait a second these little pegs until you're ready to use it and keep it slotted in the page of your magazine so that it don't get waylaid somewhere they don't get a bit missing or you've lost a bit or you can't find one of the pieces or something so yeah keep them together that's tip number one um, anyhow I've cut these out and then as you go through as you'll see 
there's the pattern instructions so you don't get a pattern sheet you actually get the pattern instructions inside the magazine so once you've printed off the pattern downloaded and printed it you need to then refer back to your magazine which is why i say to keep it in the page um, where the instructions are um, and it tells you exactly what to do it tells you what you need to to, to buy to go with it uh, what you'll need to make it buttons and fabric and um, cutting guide it tells you roughly uh, how many items you'll need what how many pattern pieces there are sorry what fabric fusible interfacing buttons this comes in sizes 8 to 24 uh, and it tells you here uh, how to lay out and cut out the, the fabric pattern pieces as well okay so I have got because I bought a denim uh, to try these and it does say a lightweight stretch denim but I've just bought a denim it was supposed to be stretchy but it's not not got a lot of stretch in it but it'll do as a, um, a trial pair okay so I've got some matching thread that I'm going to need I've got my sewing machine obviously matching thread I have purchased some jeans needles for the machine because you need jeans these are a bit stronger they've got a sharper point that go through the heavyweight fabric better uh, you'll need um, pins or the clips, some prefer to use clips, these are quilting clips but you can use either clips or pins, I prefer to pin but when there's quite a lot together sometimes you need to clip it to hold it together and clip it to pin sometimes but it's up to you, if you do pin, pin, I do and if I do pop them in my mouth I'm really sorry, I'm trying to get out of the habit, I've been doing it for 50 odd years so I do need to try and get out of the habit for doing videos i don't want anybody to put pins in the mouth and accidentally swallow them i'll be mortified and i've got bits and bobs for my machine different feet and things not that i'll need these this is my little pot that i keep bits and pieces in uh, to go with this machine so i've got a pair of snipping scissors my wrist pin cushion and um, my case of bobbins, I just want an empty bobbin, so that's the first thing we'll do, we'll load the bobbin. So let me just get an empty bobbin out of there. I also have, as per, my cup of tea. Excuse me. It's Thursday work, this video is. Let me tell you, either that or it's me that talk too much. <laughs> right, so, bobbin. So firstly, I'm going to put my thread onto the pin you will also need this is for um, somebody that messaged me the other day about uh, um, the bobbin bouncing off and then lump, looping up of thread and, and what have you as well your machine will come with a variety of these like wheel shaped items now each one of these is for different size bobbins etc uh, different size spools and what you need to do is to pop one of these on top of your uh, where your spool sits at the end of your spool that stops your reel of thread from bouncing off the machine so if you can see where i have oh, let me just lift that up done that and it sits here after you put your bob your thread on it sits here this stops your thread also from running too fast because if you haven't got this on it's moving up and down and it's running and running and running and it's getting itself knotted up it gets fast round um, your take up lever here and it can all knot up round here and then it causes all sorts of problems with your threading and your tension so always make sure that you put on this I think it's called a spool cap but I'm not 100% sure, I think it is, but it's the thing that stops your thread, your reel of thread falling off or running too fast, so it does both. Okay, so I'm going to thread the machine, which I've shown you how to do, so I'm going, oh no, I need to do a bobbin first, don't I? So I'm going round the bobbin spool control point here, and I'm going to wrap my, I don't put mine through the hole in the bobbin, I just wrap it round a few times, push it forward, and um, I have not attached, did not put my, um, what do you want to call it? <laughs> Press a foot down on the floor, silly woman. 
can't sew without that, can I? Okay, so, and if you hear snoring by the way, it's not a human, it's a dog. <laughs> it's my chair, it's got a real heavy snore on at the moment. Right, so we're ready to roll. Let's set this off slowly. And then, we need to hold that a bit tighter. That's somebody squealing outside that's playing frisbee. <laughs> Yeah, all sorts in this uh, in this site where we are. Okay, right, that should do it better. There we go. And then let go again and let it do its thing. Let it its threading. It's filling the bobbin, should I say? As you can see, coming off the thread, off the spool, and round the bobbin. Okay, that will collapse a little bit easier. Just don't like that very much. When it's got to the end and the bobbin is full, it will automatically stop. So you don't have to do anything with it. To get rid of these, it, we don't need to. We've got one on there. That's it. Always think you work by tidy. It makes it easier when you're moving fabric and things about. To run out but I'll change that when we pause the or when I stop the first video so that's my bobbin threaded I need to load my bobbin into my machine my machine is a top loader on this one which means that my thread goes in anti-clockwise so we pop her in there pull the thread round put the lid back this is the problem with a see-through lid because you can never see it. You never see where you put it. Oops, wrong way. Pop that back on the cover. And then I will thread. Use this bit up that we have got here. I'll do it for something to start. Thread the machine. If I go through this too fast for you, or you want it redoing, you want me to show you again how to thread the machine. I will do. Just raise my needle up, pull through my needle threader. Now what I haven't done is, I haven't changed my needle yet, have I? So, I need to change my needle to the sewing machine, uh, to the jeans needle, which we do by doing, on this machine anyhow, there's a screw here, you can see. We undo that, there's a little screwdriver comes with your kit, Ooh, it's a bit stiff, that's it. This is called a shank, this that drop that goes up and down the holes the needle. So this needle now, I've never ever replaced this needle back into the machine, I always throw it away. Um, so that can go into my little bin that I've got on there at the moment, put them back in there. So I now need a jeans needle. These packets, you tend to slide the packet up, like so, and then the top bit should bend back. A bit stiff because it's a new packet, to give you access to a needle. Sometimes this flops up, other times it's that way, like that. So we just need a new needle, Pull one out, put your thing back together like so, and close the sorry, close the lid. Okay. So let's put this back in. So it's a reverse action. The flat on a on a sorry, I'm going to the other side because I'm not used to this thing taping this on the uh, iPad. The needle. Where are you? Here we go. The needle has, I don't know if you can see it properly on here, the back of the needle is flat and the front is curved. You can just about see it. I wonder if I put it that way if you can see it better. Yeah, that's the flat that's touching my finger and above it is a, like a dome. So the back, the flat part of the needle needs to go to the back of the machine so you hold put your foot down on the sewing machine put the foot down 
slide the flat back up into the shank, the needle, with its back, the flat back to the back, and turn, hold it there, and turn your screw till it grips, and then tighten it up with your screwdriver, mini screwdriver. Always keep that with your machine. Never ever let it out of your sight. Do not let your hubby use it for changing plugs or anything like that. It's specific for your sewing machine. Right. And you won't be able to find it when you do want it, if he's been interfering and taking it. Right, let's start and thread the needle this time. You have to excuse me, my brain's a bit frazzled for some reason today. Must be the heat. We'll blame the heat. Right, where's the hole? I need the needle to the very top. Oh, come on, machine. Hold the thread. Where's it? Oh! My, my, my! That's the first time that's ever happened to me. This needle has got no hole or eye, is the correct terminology. It's just got no hole in there. Let's check the others uh, and see if they've all been the same. Somebody's so me a dove set I think oh no this one has I can't believe that I've never ever 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 had that happen before anyhow right there's a first time for everything when you're sewing just remember that just remember this that will prove it to you so unscrew my shank again pull the needle out no, there's no hole. There's no eye. Look, I don't know if you can see. There's where it should be, but it's not actually got a hole through anywhere. It's no wonder my threader couldn't get the thread through. Right, that's another for my little bin bag. <laughs> right, let's try again. This one. Where are you? Just a second has got where is it i think there we go i can just about see it right here at the end look just about see my finger behind there yeah so that one has got an eye so we'll do reverse that and we'll do it again I'll put it in with the flat of the needle to the back turn your screw there and tighten it up I need to make sure it's tightened up because it's going that fast when it's moving so fast it can come loose if you don't tighten it up properly. I'm just rewinding my thread a little bit. Right, okay. Right, so down, round this hook, needle right at the top and pull through. That's better. That's gone through the first time this time. Now I'm going to turn the wheel to pull my bottom thread through. There we go. And our machine is now threaded and ready to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this video here and then um, I'll get everything out ready and we will do the first part of the pattern. It says part one download and print the template we've talked about that on the back pieces of the trousers with right sides together match notches pin and sew center back seam so that's what we'll do first then tidy and press to one side that's why you need your iron on all the time pin each dart in place so I'm going to show you how to do a dart and sew from the waist edge to the point. That's a dart in the dart as well. I'll show you how to do that. Then it says for the front pieces, put right sides together, match the notches, pin and sew, centre front seam. Neaten, then press to one side. Now that's the first lot of instructions, number one. On number two, it says about applying interfacing and things like that. So we'll start with number one. I'll stop the video, I'll get everything ready and we'll come back. Okay, and then we'll do those those um, seams. 
I'll tidy this up well, so get rid of this rubbish and uh, I'll be back to you very shortly. Okay, see you in a bit guys, bye.